All right, all right, all right. I'm going to try this over here. Um, just because, well, it's a cool old song. And, uh, well... <laughs> screwed up in the middle there because I couldn't remember the last verse and there's there's a whole bunch of choruses in between in that that song there's a there's a musical interlude and yes the band is called the young bloods that's who, who did that song so bringing rock and roll history one song at a time yeah Anyways. No. Say stand by your man. Tell something. Don't understand. Anyways. Oh, I was like, I think there's things that I'm forgetting here. And yes, there are things that I'm forgetting here. And I did want to uh, work on this guitar, but I completely forgot Freya was actually in pieces. So I tended to Freya first. Um, I, I had broken uh, one of the strings. Uh, which string? I, I, I think it was a G string. Um, and the, uh, the, trum, the trum arm was, was loose, so I wanted to um, tighten that up. And uh, while I was doing all that, the whole thing just kind of fell apart. So I... I, uh, and then I realized I hadn't changed the strings in probably like a year and a half and hadn't tended to the frets or nothing. And um, yeah, so I uh, tended to fray a little bit. Um, this one's next. Uh, I also forgot I had this one. I was staring at it in my, uh, in my dining room. It was on a stand uh, out there because I just had no place else to put it. The, uh, the trump arm snapped in here. I do have another one. I just haven't had the time to take it apart and put, put it, the new one in yet. Um, so yeah that's another one that i got to get to um and uh yeah i got stuff to do all around here and i'm getting to it slowly um the cancer thing is just slowing me down man um because i do get these you know uh right now i get i get tired real quick and that's but that uh, talking to my provider um that's par for the course that's exactly what she said because i'm telling her all this stuff and she's like oh i'm so sorry oh i'm so sorry oh i'm so and then she said but it seems normal for for chemo so it's like gee thanks um the acne is getting hopefully a little bit better i gotta go i forgot to take the second pill i just ate more and i forgot to take the second pill uh the antibiotics i think are are, are helping 
um, and I should have been on them the whole time, and that was just dumb on my part. Um, so I, I guess I'm catching up a little bit now. Um, anyways, uh, if y'all could like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be awesome because I am trying to build this channel. Uh, build this channel with like, come on, people now, smile on your brother. Everybody get together. Try to love one another right now. You know, instead of yeah, everybody out there with their divisiveness and all that other crap, you know, and everybody wants to, hey, all, all the stuff out there these days I see is like, unless you're, you're, you're saying something mean and nasty, and nobody want to look, you know, people preaching love and it's like, ah, who cares? You know, so I'm trying to f find a, a, an interesting way to get in between there because I can get down on stuff so bad it ain't funny. Um, and I can, I can come up with, with negative titles for positive things too. So, you know. Um, but we'll figure it out. And, uh, I just want to be positive on this channel. And, uh, that's why I keep uh, saying, always look up, man, because you know, it's, it's hope, you know, and it's a, that's an amazing four letter word. Yes. I was born and raised in New Jersey. No, lots of them. I think hope is my favorite four letter word though. Um, hope is a beautiful thing. And, uh, yeah, man, that's why I say always look up because he's there for you and it gives you hope. And, uh, it's a good word. I hope y'all always having a great day. Always look up. He's there for you. I'll see you then. Peace.